This has to be the single craziest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> so, let's start from the very beginning. I attended a crazy six-day interactive online self-improvement event with thousands of people around the world, all hosted by this guy, Tony Robbins. And I was one of the lucky few to get chosen to talk to Tony in front of everyone where I shared my story of quitting my job as a lawyer to start this YouTube channel and to light up the world. So of course I went full out at this event. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I had the best time ever. But then... It was crazy. It was such a fun event. But afterwards, I was actually a little sad. Because I saw such incredible people for six days. But because it was virtual, I didn't make a single friend. So I decided to send a message to the event's Facebook group. And I was amazed at the response. And one of those replies came from a girl named Steph. You hold a smile, I'll hold your hand. Take this love around the world. We started talking a lot and became such good friends. And what really amazed me was how much she cared. When I wasn't sleeping well, she gave me a two hour crash course filled with her best sleep tips. When I was having trouble with some big decisions, she helped me visualize the future that I wanted. And of course, she made me laugh all the time. And after a few months, my feelings for her got stronger. Which is crazy, because in a way, we're still just strangers who only know each other through a screen. Plus, there was a problem. You see, I live in Los Angeles, and she lives 5,360 miles away in Bristol in the UK, on the other side of the world. So we just stayed as friends. That was until one day when she said, Okay, this might sound like a completely crazy suggestion, but how do you feel about coming to meet me in the Philippines? Wait, 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 the Philippines? That's, whoa. Um... Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> in a month, she was going to be traveling in Asia and invited me to join for part of it. So, before her trip, I asked her out on a date where we made sushi and pad thai together. <laughs> and at the end of that date, I did something a little crazy. I asked her to be my girlfriend. And she said, no. I'm just kidding. She said yes. <laughs> Which brings us back here. This has to be the single craziest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm about to buy a flight to travel over 6,000 miles away to meet someone I've never seen in person in a country that neither of us have either been to. Wait, 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 wait. For how long? Hmm. Well, the maximum you're allowed to stay there is 30 days. I feel like any normal person would suggest maybe a week or two. So... 30 days? That's <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Let's do this. <laughs> it's really happening. Except it wasn't. I tried like five times, but the website wasn't working. So I had to call customer service. Um, yes, you have my authorization to proceed. Thank you so much. Almost we finally did it! <laughs> I'm going to the Philippines. I'm about to call Steph and let her know that we got the plane tickets. I'm just so excited. Hello. Steph, I booked my flight! <laughs> Regardless of what happens, it's gonna be an adventure. And she was right. This 30-day adventure with someone I've never met yet feel so strongly for changed my life in ways that I never expected. So, let the adventure begin. 